me to begin the episode by introducing you to my sponsor, Anchor, which is the simplest way to make a podcast. Let me just quickly explain the key features. It's free, absolutely free. There's creation tools that allow you to uh, edit your podcast from your mobile or your computer. You can make money from your podcast. You don't need any minimum listenership. Uh, it distributes it to you all for free. All of this is for free. You don't need to pay for anything. There's no ads or anything. And basically, it's just everything you need in a podcast ma- making tool. And it's all in one place. So, you know, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm today to get started. It's as simple as that. The questions to ask. Hosted by Danum. Welcome back to QTA, all the questions to ask, and this is the final episode in the series. If you're new here, welcome, and I hope that you really enjoy this, and if you're returning, then welcome back, and I hope that you've enjoyed the series. If you're new, go back and watch the rest of the episodes, it's not like they, I don't know, add anything to this one, it's just that um, it might help to get a bit of an idea of what I do and uh, if you want a bit of a tight schedule um, either watch my trailer I mean listen to my trailer or you can just listen to this one on your own but new or old welcome or welcome back to the QCA or questions to ask this is as I've previously mentioned the final episode in the series, and I can't believe we've made it this far. I mean, can you? It kind of seems surreal, like, just one day, I was like, hey, let's make a podcast. And then now, I'm here at the end of my first series. I know it is kind of a short series, I mean, like, five episodes, you don't usually get a series that short, but you know, I'm British. And in Britain, we like short series. Anyway, so let's get on to the actual episode. And this episode is about which dimension are we really in, according to me. I know that sounds crazy, and like, it's like, why would you want to finish an episode about that? That's rubbish. But, like, it's something I don't think anybody has covered before. And this is a bit more of a sciencey one than my other episodes, um, so I'll try and do my best to explain what I'm on about when I'm mentioning um, this. Um, but just to note, my all my episodes aren't going to be like, oh my god, it's sciencey. So like, if you don't like science, this, this isn't a science podcast. So anyway, on to the episode. So, I know what you think. We live in a 3D dimension. Well, a, free di- a third dimension. And the other dimensions are just higher than we are. And we can't even conceive them because our brains are three dimensional and can only think three dimensional. Well, what I'm about to tell you is going to prove you wrong. It's not going to prove you wrong. It's going to make you think differently about dimensions. Now this theory, I made it up, I called it Relative Dimension Theory. A, because it sounds really cool, and B, because it's about dimensions being relative to each other, because what I'm saying here isn't that we are in this dimension because of the theory, it's saying that this is what it could be like. So, what are, what am I on about here? And am I just some crazy old crackpot on on a rocker, or off his rocker, possibly, but not necessarily. I mean, I am some crazy old crackpot off his rocker, but I do like a good bit of science. So, what I'm on about is that we aren't living in the third dimension the fourth dimension and this doesn't change the way that um, 
think that we live just changes the way that we think. For example, um, a, a 4D hypersphere, like a, a sphere that's in the fourth dimension, isn't just going to appear out of nowhere because we're suddenly in the fourth dimension. What I'm saying is, is that the third dimension is the fourth dimension. I know what you're thinking, how is this possible? This is just crazy. Well, maybe not so much. If you think about it, in the first dimension, in our current understanding, the first dimension is nothing but a straight line. The second dimension is um, something with height and length. Not height and width, sorry. Um, but it doesn't have any depth. The third dimension, in our current understanding, is height, width and depth. So, what's the fourth dimension? That's something that we can't conceive. And then, like, it's not like a, it's diagonal dimension, like X, Y, Z. It's not like it's a diagonal dimension. It's not the W axis. Because um, we can't conceive that our brains are just too puny for the 4D masters. And this whole video is about what the fourth dimension is, and this podcast episode isn't about that. So my theory is that the first dimension is what we think is the zero dimension? Is a no dimension? I don't know. Some kind of zero dimension, zero D. And rather than it being length, and this is where it all comes into play, it's time. And time, I know that time isn't a physical object that we can see. I mean, there's clocks, but like, you know, that doesn't count. Time is a concept rather than a a physical object. But if you think about it, everything's a concept. (coughs) But, What's the second dimension? Well, it's just the first dimension. Uh, time. But what we think is the first dimension, sorry. So it's length plus time. So it doesn't actually change the shape of things. Like, like I said earlier, 4 the hypersphere isn't going to suddenly pop out of nowhere. Um, but it just changes the way that we view things, that we think about it. Like, for example, the moon being called the moon doesn't change the way doesn't change the fact that it is still the moon it just makes us think differently and that's what this theory does so this means with my theory this means that the zero dimension is truly nothing because in our current understanding the zero of, I'm gonna call it the zero of dimension I don't care what any of you say I'm gonna call it the zero of dimension because that's the only thing that my 3 or 4D co- brain can compute because I'm small. Anyway, the zero of dimension is truly nothing. Here, the zero of dimension is just we can't see it, which means that optical illusions and things, they are not there, apparently, because they have zero dimensions. My optical illusions where things are invisible. Apparently they're not there. With this, that's the first dimension. It still has time. It is still there. It is still an object. It's just that we can't see it. So, what is the zero dimension? I haven't really explained that very well. The zero dimension, in my theory, is truly nothing. Absolutely nothing. If you think about it, this works more than our understanding, our current understanding. A zero dimension. No time, no mass or anything. No length, width, or height, and no time. So, yeah, truly absolute zero. No way it could get any more empty than this. 
Oh, credit. Well, that's not something I'm going to go into today. Because this episode is about what if we were living in a different dimension, or which dimension are we really living in? Which dimension are we really living in is the title of this episode, as you know, because you clicked on it. Obviously, if you're still listening, then hooray! You've earned a special prize. That prize is making it to the end of the series. Well done! I'll give you a little clap. We've made it, you've made it, we've all made it to the end of the first series of QTA. I have been Dana Wolf. You have been an amazing listener, an amazing audience. And it would I would really appreciate it if you were to uh, go ahead and share this podcast and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow the podcast. Because it means something to me. Not a lot. It doesn't mean a lot because I'm not the kind of person who's obsessed with social media. <coughs> but it means, like... It just makes me a little, it just puts a bit of a bit more of a smile on my face. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I hope that you've all enjoyed this series. And next week I'll be talking about nothing. Next week I'm going to have a bit of a break. So if you're on YouTube, then there might be something else there. And if you're listening from the actual podcast, then. You're gonna have nothing, sorry. Um, but yeah, nothing next week because it's the end of the series. But then two weeks time, I haven't actually planned anything for two weeks time. Sorry. Um, well, as of now, I may release an episode overview later. Like, not later today, possibly later today. Um, today is Monday. Monday the 8th of June. You are listening on a different day. But anyway, I'm wishing you. I hope you all enjoyed this episode in the series, and I will see you all in two weeks' time, or whenever the episode overview comes out for season two. And until then, have a good day, stay safe, and I'll see you later.